In this lesson, we're going to install Aqueduct. If you go to aqueduct.io and then click Getting Started, you'll see the directions for setting it up. We've already installed Dart, so we don't need to do that. Next, on the command line, type pub global activate aqueduct. Go to a terminal, and we'll type it in. Wait for it to finish installing, and it's installed. Try typing aqueduct version. Notice it can't be found. That's because it isn't in our path. So we need to loaded in our path so that every time we start up the computer it will have aqueduct. On a Mac I can do that by going to bash profile. Linux and Windows will have slightly different ways you can look up how to do that. For Mac I'll just type this line here to bash profile. Save it and exit. On Mac, I can just close the terminal and restart it, and it'll reload the profile. Now when I type Aqueduct version, it'll have the right version. It'll be installed. So I have Aqueduct version 3.2. Next, I'm going to create the project. To do that, you just type Aqueduct Create. First, though, I'm going to go to the directory I want to put the project in. Go to wherever you want to put it. Then type aqueduct create and then the name of your project. It will create a new project, a new folder for that project name. I'm calling mine Dart Server. creating the project. Now we'll open the project in IntelliJ IDEA. Go to Open. Find wherever you made the project. Dart server for ours. Click Open. That will open it here. You can see the file structure here. There's a few different files. The most important folder is the lib for library. Let's open channel.dart. You can see here that Dart isn't enabled yet, so let's click Enable Dart Support. Go down to the bottom there, click the down arrow, and we'll be able to open Dart settings. There you can see the Dart SDK path is selected. Click OK. And then we'll have Dart enabled in our project. We're all ready to start work. And so in the next lesson, we're going to start. One file to notice here, though, is pubspec.yaml. If you've done any Flutter programming, you're already familiar with this file. But we'll look at all this more next time.